This is Morning Thoughts with Teresa Beam, and today my husband Arthur and I have a short message to our Catholic bishops about the sex scandal cover-up. We don't trust you. We don't know which ones of you are guilty or not. And really, all of you are guilty to some degree. Look, here's Fatherhood 101. Good fathers take responsibility for their house. They don't blame anyone else. They act and speak to make sure their children are safe before they worry about themselves. They didn't, this didn't happen with our clergy. And after the 2002 Boston Globe report exposing the clergy sex abuse, we trusted you would defrock and jail predator priests, not just those that rape children, but defrock the clergy who were sodomizing each other, like the ones caught in Florida this past couple weeks. Apostles of Christ can never claim plausible deniability. Come on! The Vatican has the finest intelligence in the world, so no excuse will be understood or accepted by faithful Catholics. Besides, it will always appear to be criminal negligence because shepherds must always be hunting and keeping an eye out and an ear out for predators. Your Excellencies, you did not rid the Church of its criminals. Your staff, your crozier, isn't for photo ops. It's a defensive weapon against lions and wolves attacking Christ's flock. Sorrowful words do nothing to prove your innocence. We don't trust you. We're all still reeling in agony from the physical and psychological shock of your calloused and calculated abuse. Then, to your sexual predation crimes, you add bullying when you demand instant forgiveness. You must first make things right. Church clergy sins have been drug out into the open, and so there can be no private confessions about this. You must say under oath that you are not and have not been sexually active, nor are covering up for sexually active priests. We want you to confess everything, and if convicted of criminal activity, you must go to jail. Better answer for your crimes here than in hell. Many people feel you are more worried about retiring in luxury than dealing with predatory clergy. This war has just begun, and it's going to pulverize the church. So it's ludicrous and way too premature for Cardinal World to call for a season of healing. First, get the sexual abusers out of the clergy now. All of them. Some of you abused our children and our seminarians, and all of you have earned our distrust. Bishops, we love you, but we are asking you to be courageous men of God.